right, so I haven't done this in a while due to Summer Games Fest, but now that that is finally coming to a close, we're going to return back to weekly video game news, or news and video gaming, as I like to call it. But starting off with, uh, speaking of the Summer Games Fest, tomorrow is probably one of the last shows we're getting for the, the Games Fest, but uh, Nintendo Direct tomorrow pretty early so start the stream by covering this watching this i think they said it's like a 40 45 minute event um i think they're trying to claim they're not part of the not e3 2023 thing but yeah still a direct coming tomorrow there's the times for you know your local times in case you get up early and want to watch it sounds like it's going to be a pretty early event but I'm quite interested to see what they're going to have uh oh pikmin 4 since Tears of the Kingdom is already out, and I just feel like uh, the Switch is becoming a deader and deader system as it gets older and older, you know, and they have already said there is no plans for a new system until next year, so I'm just interested to see how they're going to make this a, like, yeah, roughly 40-minute show. Information focused mainly on Nintendo Switch set titles launching this year. Oh, well, maybe Pokemon DLC? Um... I can't really think of what else. I haven't really been paying much attention to Nintendo over the festivities and the showcases. So we'll see. I'm quite interested to see what they have. We'll watch it live tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So you know when I'm live with that. But let's move on. Uh, Punisher video game gets a gruesome new gen remaster. This sounds really cool and like something that should have been done a while ago. But I could understand with uh disney owning the rights to you know uh marvel why they wouldn't want this this was a pretty brutal game as you can just see from this one screenshot because they actually showed that stuff in america this was back when i was a teenager this was a highly controversial game that got banned or censored in a lot of uh countries and different areas you know of the world so it was kind of one of those like uh manhunt games that just kind of blew up for all the wrong reasons but it actually was a pretty good uh, third person action shooter based around um the punisher license you know you play as frank castle can't remember everything it's been so long since i got to play it but it'd be really cool to see a remaster of this come out i would definitely be down to play it or buy it i would definitely buy it but no trailer for it so that's a little disappointing but yeah definitely definitely do a remaster of this i don't know how, how do they say anything about licenses or anything See the Punisher return a new video game sometime in the future. Talk about the trailer, but were you not able to get a hold of it? Is it just an old trailer, so old that you didn't feel like uh, updating it? Uh, the Wizards that usually play look back at the Punisher, which was relevant in the original Xbox. Yep, blah, blah, blah. Yes, and really not much substantial here outside of someone somewhere might be working on it. I think they said to enhance graphics mode. Yeah, teaser plays. So I think there just might be a trailer floating around somewhere on the internet of a slightly better looking version because at some point they were planning on doing it. But uh, new gen, gorgeous new gen remaster. I have no idea. I have no idea. So that's a little disappointing than it is reassuring. But moving on, let's talk about some more sad news that Blizzard might be really f us over on the Diablo front on the Diablo front which is quite sad and one of their best I think in my opinion one of their best games in a while you know really stands up really fun unless they do this where Diablo 4 characters might require and or Diablo 4 requires a new character every season in other words it's sounding like it sounds like they will be removing characters every season and you will have to start a new character which I don't know who thought that was a good idea but that is one of the dumbest f***ing ideas i've ever heard of why would i want to spend dozens maybe even hundreds of hours especially if you're playing on hardcore difficulty just to lose my whole character and have to start all over again every time you know a new season comes out like you've already had the bugs where people were losing their characters trying to fast travel in hardcore mode or just in loading screens in general and people are pissed about that so what does Blizzard think is going to happen if they completely remove our characters every, like, three to six months, you know? How, how are you guys going to feel about that? Like, I'll just stop playing the game altogether. I'll tell you that right now. Well, where's the tweet? Uh, but yeah, I got the Battle Pass's new aspect, so... Yeah, so there is a Battle Pass coming. I didn't know. We've now a little bit, what, like, almost... 
a few weeks, I want to say, out from the launch of the game. So I figured by now, because uh, Street Fighter already has their battle pass in. It's one of the worst ones I've ever seen, but there's still a battle pass in there. So I thought they'd be a little bit quicker on this. You will need to create a new seasonal character, seasonal character playing campaign with seasonal character. If you wait, playing campaign with seasonal character, if you so desire or need to finish, will also progress the season journey and battle pass. But still, no one wants to start a whole new character. That's the big problem. They just don't get it. They just do not get it. Um, now, as players were stressed about having to potentially rediscover the entire map or hunt. Yeah, true. I didn't even think about that. I really don't want it because I still don't have a horse and it's still taking me forever to get from place to place. I don't want to f get it and then figure out that, you know, in a few days to a week, I'm going to have to restart that whole thing. And like my necromancer build that kind of f up, go check out the stream of that, but that I love so much could be gone and I'd have to restart from scratch. And I just don't want to do that every season. So yeah, kind of, kind of sad. Kind of sad. Blizzard finally does something good, puts out a good game, and then they almost immediately f*** it up. Kojima wants to leave Earth to make a game you can play in space, so... Kind of wondering if that's a hint at what his next game might be, his new IP. You know, the one for Xbox exclusives, the Xbox exclusive he's been talking about. I'm wondering if this might be a hint of that, but... It also kind of sounds like Starfield, too. He's pretty much saying he wants to make a game where you can go out in space and just go anywhere you want and do anything you want which isn't that kind of like starfield but i'd like to see his version on it but this was also in uh the movie that i'd like to talk about possibly tomorrow that they made about him a documentary i mean but you know documentary documentary type movie uh about you know him and his life i think uh but he told keely at summer games fest this year that he wants to do a space game and you know with his crazy takes on everything and his out there style, I would absolutely love for him to do that. So do it, Kojima. Anything you ever want to do, you know, you have my approval on. So yeah, that might be cool to see. Um, Netflix's Captain Laserhawk. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Netflix's Captain Laserhawk has released a trailer now. Like I was just talking about, YouTube is very YouTube and Netflix are very or Netflix I guess are very strict about sharing their trailers so I can't really play it. I did watch it. It looks alright. I mean it kinda has an old schoolish anime style to it, I think, but it looks kinda cool. It, uh, like the uh I think he was the producer that we saw at the Ubisoft event. I can't remember. I don't think he's the director of the show, but the guy we saw at the Ubisoft event when he said there was oh excuse me, a lot of trailers in this he was, or a lot of Easter eggs in this trailer. He wasn't kidding, cause uh, there definitely is. There's Assassin's Creed. There's Far Cry stuff. There's a few other things I can't remember that I saw, but definitely go check it out. I think I might watch a few episodes. Might give it a shot. I mean, doesn't look like the worst thing. Uh, video game doesn't look like the worst video game adaptation ever. So check it out. Unfortunately, I can't play it here. I really wish I could, but uh, this fall they said so sometime september early september possibly late october early november definitely sometime in august i think we'll get a trailer yeah the frog is actually a part of this show so i think it's like a love letter to a lot of ubisoft stuff i don't know that's what it seemed more like to me not just uh the Fro far cry you know uh laser hawk stuff because i don't know how much there wasn't any like real talking or anything it was just kind of a short 45 second trailer that showed some quick cinematic stuff but saw the assassin creed frog doing the leap of faith again you saw him with his cannon arm but i'm not entirely sure if this is the guy rex raptor i think that was the name of the character in uh the uh blood dragon yeah blood dragon that's it i've been blanking on that name this whole time but yeah i don't know if he's uh rex from blood dragon or if this is a whole separate story that takes place in that universe it seems like the latter to me though so yep go check it out let me know what you think down in the comments for sure microsoft is no longer going to be developing games for the xbox one now when they came out with the series x i swear they said that there was going to be a one year time period where they would still support the xbox one and uh one enhanced and all the other you know past gen gen 8 consoles but apparently that went on way longer but unfortunately pretty soon does it say when um 
or has this already happened? But very soon, if it has not already happened by the time this video goes live. 19th, yeah, well, very soon, uh, Xbox One games will no longer probably be manufactured. They said they'll still somewhat support it, I, something to that extent, but really Minecraft obviously being, you know, one of the biggest selling and, uh, uh, was it most gro highest grossing annually games, you know, it's going to be still be the one that is supported on anything and everything. So that will still be out there for Minecraft players, but otherwise Xbox is really going to start forcing the series X and S, uh, on people. Gen nine is, you know, really going to start becoming the big thing from here on out. So if you haven't upgraded yet, it might be time to look into that soon. Um, obviously, they have the new console coming out. Still 350 not a huge savings on it. But, you know, with the holidays coming up, who knows? Might see some savings on those as they're really trying to get next gen into people's hands and or living rooms, I guess, rather than hands. But, yeah, I would definitely recommend doing it. But, you know... Just, just something to keep in mind from here on out if you're a last-gen player is that it might be coming to an end very soon for you guys. Cyberpunk has a new patch, and honestly, with how long it's been out, what is it, almost two years now, something like that, you know, it's amazing this thing is still getting patches, but wait until, we, until I actually show you the list of shit that was patched. It's kind of ridiculous that it's still in this state. It's still a good game. I've still been playing it in my off time, and really getting into the side missions and whatnot. It's got a lot of good stories to tell, and but at the same time, there's still a lot of glitches and bugs that happen that completely break your immersion or completely ruin the game for you. As Luckily, I haven't seen all these. I think there's a few that have happened to me, but I'm not entirely sure, so let's see. But, yep, it came out. Oh, man, how big was it? Because I know it hit mine, too. I want to say it was like 30 gigs because I remember going, wow, that's a lot. For a patch for a game that's been out this long but it is good to see heading into the dlc in late september that they're trying to fix this game and like i said it did look like there was a part where you were shooting out a car window so maybe this is all going to smooth it out so that uh we can have that stuff that they talked about on launch but it's just so late afterwards Patch 1.63 notes. Here it is. Look at this. And it still goes. The open world, UI, visuals, PC specific, console specific, miscellaneous, red mod. Like, really, it shouldn't be this long. Like, it's good. It's, you know, now a better game, but, you know, how long have some of you owned it before it finally got to this point? But let's kind of briefly go over. So, a lot of it was quest dialogue. Uh, problems a lot of these if you read them are just like uh this one i thought was hilarious fix an issue here fix an issue where v gets flatlined after crossing the border so i, I want to look this up uh on stream probably at the end of this week so does that mean that people were just walking over a certain point in the game and then you just died you just felt dropped dead if so send me the clips of that i really want to see it um but again, a lot of it is just people not talking to you, people not showing up, things not tracking properly, you know, a lot of stuff that should have been fixed last year or shortly after it came out. But with how broken and buggy it was, they are just now getting to it. Um, a lot of this stuff I like to see because this is what I've been doing a lot of recently, gigs and night jobs or jobs or whatever the fuck they're called. Um, but a lot of these had still have issues and are just now getting resolved. Um issue where it was impossible to gain cards you know just the whole spectrum of stuff that a lot of games don't even launch with this game is still fixing um fixing issue did they fix the one the one thing i've been having a lot is whenever i go to save or load my game to try to do something different it will nothing will pop up it will go there but there will be nothing on the screen or it'll have the red and black like borders but there will be no list of my saves or anywhere for me to save or load just a long list of shit that uh probably should have been fixed a while ago but i mean at least it got fixed it's one of those kind of glass half full half empty type of situations and next time i play it i'll let you guys know uh what i think and if it's gotten that much better from you know when i have started playing it and whatnot so real interested to play it again when i have the chance but 
yeah, if anyone else does before me, come back, leave a comment, and let me know. But that will wrap up today. New here, again, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I do that or when I'm live again tomorrow when we cover your Nintendo Direct. We'll play some more Street Fighter, try to get better at that shit. Try my best to get better at that shit. Uh, like, leave a comment, let me know what you think, let me know how everything sounds, looks, all that good stuff. Um, trying to think Discord, come join the Discord, send me videos and memes to react to live. Patreon, where you can get exclusive videos, like the showcase video, the full showcase video, kinda. I mean, it's a little bit edited down, but you know, only gonna be available there. Uh, and yeah, I think that's everything. So yep, make sure to subscribe if you wanna keep up with me. Thanks everyone 